If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clashes now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone to another day of Road to World. Thank you so much for letting me know that my mic was muted. <laughs> uh, once again, thank you so much to Manchas for the um, for the gifted sub. And this is basically the deck that won the Limitless Online Qualifier number two. There's only one change that I did. I took out the Lysander Labs and I put in the Nine Tails V. Nine Tails V gives us the option to Nine Tails Shape Shifter, choose one of our opponent's active Pokemon's attacks, and use it as this attack. Um, not in the, with this deck, but when playing Sandaconda that had a copy of Nine Tails V, I ended up copying my opponent's um, Whorehouse GX, and he didn't realize I could do that, and that probably ended up costing him the game. Um, you get to use different attacks like Ultimate Ray, you get to Compensation, which, I don't know, like, Overall, this seems more gimmicky than anything. Clay Tower isn't anything to write home about, but um, like bringing this fresh up against Dragapult can be problematic for them because then you copy their attack twice. While they took a KO, you also copy their attack twice, but you get the spread on their bench, which is not something they usually expect, right? So yeah, we have Night Deals, we have TV, we have Heatran, Turtonator, Cramorant. Oh, I substituted in Turtonator for the Blood Cyclone GX as well. I wasn't a big fan of the Blood Cyclone GX in the list. Um, a bunch of Pokemon support, a bunch of draw, a bunch of consistency, and it's just good old Firebox, right? Good old Firebox, no more Reshizard, no need for the 3 pass liability apparently, and we'll see how this goes. just not super sure that it does enough to justify its spot like it's it's there right might as well use it but it's not like super 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 impactful okay so this hand isn't great we're up against scramble <laughs> we're up against scramble so it's just attack six times and hope for the best <laughs> we that night z is not gonna be good in this matchup Marty, that's not very nice. Uh, free charm ability, that's not very nice. How does he just raw draw that? <laughs> like, how, how does he just raw draw the fairy charm ability? How many does he even play? One? He just raw draws it without searching for it? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I 
Charizard best. I would not be surprised, right? I would not be surprised if that was the case. Ugh. Okay. So I guess we'll have to... Like, I'm not even bothered gonna attaching energy to the heat run. I'm just gonna try to change, hope for the best here. Just gonna try to change, hope for the best. Uh, alright. I'll take this. I will take this. I will... Yeah, I will Pokecom for Victini B. Because Victini B does not have an ability. Therefore, we can KO. And we will Welder. Pretty lucky though. Like, this is draw Welder, win. Don't draw Welder, uh, you're in trouble. Okay, so how much HP does Grumble have? 130, right? So I will need to pile these up here. But in the meantime, I'm happy I'm getting this KO. Like, uh, this should allow us to get ourselves ahead one or two prizes at least, right? There's the Gramble. Probably gonna get wrecked if we didn't get that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good luck getting a code from Polton. Make sure you use table one code. Yeah. Make sure you use table one code. Still miss the old Oranguru. <laughs> We're getting struck at the stadium, that is correct. Hello Eric. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? Let me get something really quickly. I really wish I had my Night Deal set up here. Can I go ahead and switch? I can't Stellar Wish for my energy, but I can Fire Flint for energies to get the KO on the Oranguru, so that makes me pretty happy. Uh, seeing how... Seeing how... Um... I don't expect to need to welder too many times. Seeing how I can't quick bolt for the Dene, I might as well quick bolt for full picks and set that up. And I really want a KO though, right? And there's no way for him to KO my Victini V, so and I need four energies to KO Gravel anyway that adds one energy, so I'm pretty happy with this. Hopefully no more ability. Very charmed though. Like that was insane that my opponent drew that raw. That was actually insane. Okay.
Okay, Marnie, we don't really mind that. Not a big deal. Jump! Hello, thanks so much for being here. How are you doing? Charizard, yeah, he can get 170 with a Vitality one, right? So this Victini already paid itself off. Like, getting two prizes with Victini, that's good enough. It, the exchange is favorable. And PokeGX, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, PokeGX? How are you doing today? Alright. So I have the welder. I might as well welder to the heatran, right? And now I'm gonna get really far ahead. I'm gonna keep the energy for Ninetales possibly later on, if I ever do manage to find it. Perdonator, not the waste of deals. Right, things are looking good. You know, things are looking pretty, pretty good. Alright. There's my cargo. I mean, my opponent in the Limitless Online Qualifier. Uh, Klaus, thanks so much for the follow. And FloatyK, thank you so much for the raid as well. Back to back raids, thank you so much. Welcome. How was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you so much, PokeGX. I really appreciate it, yeah? Even, even, even if it was only yourself, that's fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the rates and for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow. I've been doing a lot of things. And, oh, I was saying, I lost to Gramble in the online qualifier um, to the guy that won 7 0 on day 2. And I was up 6 to 1 in prizes and I still somehow lost. <laughs> so let's not let's not assume. You know, let's not assume. Even though we're in a very, very favorable position, let's just not assume. Okay, that allows me to dig for the nine tails. Do I want to grab the night tails though? That's the real question. Ah, or am I happy just benching Victini and attaching to it? I think that's actually better. I mean, do I just prevent the price, honestly? I think I should, because then this also helps me. Um, I don't want to move any energy. This also helps me in making sure that if he uses Diantha to recover the ability Fairy Charm, well, that's okay. I have other options, right? I have other options. But if he knocks out the Victini B with a uh, Gramble that has the ability Fairy Charm, then I am in trouble, right? Then I am in trouble. All right. Right. Hello, Jagan. Thanks so much for being here. How are you doing? We get Marty. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Feeling very confident that my opponent's just going through the motions, but there's no way we are going to lose this. Well, there is a way, but what do I think of all the new dark support? It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's gonna be the new top archetype in the new sets. Gonna be the cool new archetype of the new set. Yeah, this game is kinda over. 
I feel like this happens a lot though. Like a lot of people don't realize when games are over and they just keep playing because they can't visualize like what the game is going to look like towards the end. They're just playing their turn and seeing what happens. Like if you try to imagine like the future, then there's just absolutely no way, you know? There's absolutely no way to make a comeback here. Because now I have three, right? Three fully powered off attackers. I have access to Welder, I have Victini. I can bypass any V or GX protection for my last prize card. Like there's just no way, right? There's absolutely no way that my opponent can win. No? And yeah, that's what I'm saying, Charizard. Like I, a lot of people just don't know when to concede or don't even consider it, you know? They're just playing. And that's why a lot of people pot. Knowing when to concede is a very big uh, skill. A very big asset to skill. So it's important to know when, when to concede, the time when you need to concede to save time. I don't know, it's, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot happening. Uh, <laughs> exactly, John. Like, literally, you do. You need to become Doctor Strange when you're playing Pokemon. And you need to look at all the different scenarios, right? And find the one where you're going to win. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it sounds funny, but that's exactly what I'm saying. In order to win at Pokemon, you need to pretend that you are Doctor Strange. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Yeah, Jagan, he, he's being silly, yeah, he, he understands what I'm saying. In order to win that Pokemon, you need to... Oh, okay. My opponent doesn't even need to burn his hand, right, to deal the maximum damage at this point. Like, he could have just attacked for 30 and KO'd me. Now it's just being fancy. Okay, so I have 9 energies, that's game over. I could also welder onto this guy. We'll just attack. It's like a game of chess, yeah. I always say Pokemon is like... Chess combined with rock, paper, scissors combined with luck, right? You put all three things in one pot, you stir it up, and then you get Pokemon. Uh, Charizard, I mean, that's not the case, like I was saying. I, that was, like, I lost to Gramble when I was six. I had one price left, they had six, right? I had two Trevnors and a Mewtree powered up, and I still lost the game, yeah? So my opponent saw that one in one million scenario where he won and he won he needed me to dead draw off of stamp he needed me to not top deck one of my five outs that i had in like my nine card deck it was like a huge combination of things a very unlikely combination of things but in the end he pulled it off you know uh frankly yes the new pikram deck product like that's one of the best products you could buy yeah, if you get a very solid deck to start off with. Um, Pgrom is very viable right now. It will probably remain viable. Once the format rotates, it'll be viable for the next few months. You get the four Jirachis, which are amazing for the future. It's really good value for your money. Yeah, it's a great uh, introduction product to competitive Pokemon. Yeah, it's definitely a really good product to get. A really, really good product to get. Really, really good product to get. All right, so we're up against Station ADP. Uh, it's looking like I might have a chance to KO the Station if I find a switching card, right? Too bad about the Chaotic Swell. Too bad about the Chaotic Swell. Can I do it? No, I can't this turn. However, meh, not the best hand. Uh, if I had knocked out Seijin, that would have been so huge. So, so huge. Okay. Okay, so there's the GX, 
Ah, next card. It's the next card every time. It's the next card every single time. <laughs> that was not very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna chant Hearth away a switch. Grab it to fires. And then I'm gonna go switch. I'm gonna go bench Turtonator attached to Turtonator. And I'm gonna go Steaming Stop. Because then he'll hit me hopefully for 180, not 190. <laughs> Please, pretty please. She will hit me, sorry, she will hit me. Please don't kill me. She placed Chaotic Spell, not Shrine. Oh my god, Quick Ball for Six Zigun. Quick Ball for Six Zigun. Quick Ball for Six Zigun. Quick ball for six again. Okay, research. No six again. We've seen swell, so maybe no shrine. Do we see vitality band? We see big charm. We see crushing hammer. Heads on the active. That makes no sense. Well, there's no. I guess there wasn't that big of a difference. Okay, so I need five energies to deal with this guy. And I'm down two welders, and my hand is basically dead. This is huge though. This is huge. That I survive and I get to KO this guy, that's pretty neat. Okay, welder. Nope. Oh, but that's. Uh, no, that doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll do this. Just for thinning purposes. And this Poke Gear better be the best Poke Gear in the history of Poke Gears. It is not such thing. So now I'm dead, because I can't get 5 energies into play. Oh, I didn't need the energy, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I was thinking of the big charm, but he didn't attach the big charm. She didn't attach the big charm to the active. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> that energy could have been on the third turn, and then I'd be threatening KO. Oh my god. That was very, very dumb. I apologize for that. The Pigram? No, the Pigram doesn't come with Tetene. Does it? It comes with Jirachi, not with Tetene. Alex, I think you should find a way to record the, the games. Seeing them written down <laughs> will be a little complicated. There's video evidence of that, yeah, so I'm not exaggerating. But I'm not capable of doing that, obviously. I I don't understand what my opponent did last turn. She missed out on the prize from Heatran. 
I guess she was super scared of losing the station. That's the only explanation. She's playing Absol. Okay, we get Marnie. I don't mind that at all. Okay, the Pal Pad helps. Custom catch, okay, it doesn't even have bosses over, so. The only new card is Tulsa. I don't I just I don't understand. Like if I have what? Doesn't even KO. What is happening now? What is even happening right now? What is even happening right now? Okay, so I just KO the Jirachi, right? Now I just KO the Jirachi. And then all I need to do is kill that station that she's been conserving as if her life depended on it. And I found the Victini too. I just, I don't understand. This is, I feel like this is a very good example of what I was talking about the last, the last game. Like my opponent, my opponent is playing her cards, right? She's, but she's playing to not lose rather than to win. If she had just attacked with Seishin, she would have won the game two turns, like this turn. She would be winning the game this turn. Does she have to actually Prism start? Like what? I don't even understand. And this is all because she KO'd me with Mew. This is literally all because she KO'd me with Mew. And now I win. Now I just topped the energy that I was gonna search for anyways to win. That was really weird. That was honestly really weird. And not great. I know I have enough. <laughs> I, like I don't need to check. I don't understand. That was that was not very well played by my opponent. She had everything to beat me. I whiffed Welder two turns and still. Still. That was that was very odd. That was very odd. But we'll take it, right? Now I have some interesting background music. <laughs> yeah, she did attack that one turn. She KO'd me with this thing instead of I flip. She was playing her cards, right? And she was playing to, to have me not KO her rather than actually get KO'd. And I even misplayed so badly, too. I misplayed so so badly there. Okay, I'm gonna start Victini. So I still have a chance to attack with Heatran. I can attack with Victini, but I can also spread it close to get energy to play. As I do have the Fire Flint and the Tenet potential. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh my god. We're up against obstacles. Someone didn't get the memo. <laughs> Someone didn't get the memo that obstacle is no longer good. Okay. I have a chance to KO, but I feel like I, I'm just gonna spread it. Thing. So I'm gonna bench. I'm gonna bench. I'm gonna touch. Yeah. I'll set up the night builds after, it's fine. I do have the two night builds, that's good. I am losing one Pokecom, so fighting the night builds is not like super easy. I mean, that does not have a super easy. I do find a welder. So might as well welder to the active. Have that right. Oh I had a giant heart. Oh my god, I did not see it. <laughs> I did not see <laughs> Yeah, say Frank. I did not see the giant heart in my hand. Oh my god. 
So do I just KO instead? Because I have the welder? I generally did not see the giant prize in my hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna take prizes here. He has Rosa, he has Rosa. Wow! <laughs> that was bad. That's two back to back misplays. Really bad misplays, too. So I could really use my kids, right? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was very confused for a second there. I was like, what is my opponent thinking here? Okay. I really need night kills. I really, really, really need night tails. Can I get night tails? That is not nine tails. So we're gonna dead a change. Oh my god. Okay. Well I just forgot about a very important Pokemon. And now I did not get the energy. Uh I'm dead, right? Now I'm dead in the water. My other Bullpix is prized. He gets the Obstagoon. I forgot about the Cramorant. I forgot about the Cramorant. I could have just powered up Cramorant and took a knockout on that guy on the bench. It was that simple, Pablo. It was actually that simple. It was actually that simple. <laughs> All right. All right. Would you like to go first? Yes. That was really bad. I'm sorry. That was like back to back misplaced. Bad, bad, bad. Ah, uh, we couldn't have won that game because we have no way around the the obstruct. I have no film, I don't have double nine tails, so I had no way around the obstruct. I had no way around the obstructs. Okay. So then I'm gonna quick bomb. Yeah, we had no way to win that game anymore. As long as my opponent didn't make a mistake, and I was not willing to chance on my opponent's mistake. To win right there. Stowish. Well, they're very nice. So I might as well set up the full fix, because I do have the nine tails. And let's go. Alright. Hello, yeah, Alexis. Everything's cool. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? Okay. 
We cannot get the game on this guy, but that's okay. Uh, no switching card. <laughs> no switching card. Okay, so I'm gonna have to Teddy change here. Uh, Victini V will not be very useful here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the change. Dedene is not a Pokemon you wanna bench in this matchup. But there's not much I can do about it. Okay, please give me a switch or an escape board. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have the welder. Right, I do threaten to one kill next turn. Not likely. Unless that was an energy. Definitely not likely now. But we'll see. We shall see. I know, ELX is, and I just missed a spit shot. <laughs> I just missed another spit shot play. Yeah, I don't know what I have against Cramorant. I don't know why I don't like Cramorant. I don't want to use it. <laughs> After I did it, I was like, oh my god, I'm so dumb. But at least I realized it, right? Like, it would be worse if I didn't realize that I was making the mistakes. But if I realize that I'm making the mistakes and then I make corrections, then that's good. And you learn from them. That's two mistakes of Cramorant. Let's see if we find others. Yeah, no one plays perfect. It happens, right? At least I realize it, right? At least I'm not saying, no, there was no way. Uh, no, that wasn't possible, blah, blah, blah. So we get hit for 130. Ninetales gets hit for 50. Okay, this heat factory needs to give me two fires. And it gave me zero. <laughs> and it gave me zero fires. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And we're gonna data change. I need to get super lucky here. So I don't really expect that to happen, but I should try, right? I should at least try. <laughs> well, I found welders, right? I definitely found the welders. Jeez. Uh, it was easier to find three energy than three welders. What the heck? <laughs> Get more needs. So now our welders that we need are at the bottom of the deck. It's like <laughs> uh, playing in expert mode. I, I I forget that I'm playing in expert mode most of the time. I can't win. There's just no way I win. Maybe I can kill this guy. Well, no. And how do I take my last two prizes? Oh, ah, spit shots, which is in my discard box. <laughs> Oh boy, um, yeah. 
It's just drawing things in the right order, right? That's Pokemon. Drawing things in the right order. That's where it's different from chess. That's where, the what we were talking before, you put chess, rock, paper, scissors, and a whole bunch of luck in the same pot, you stir it up, and then you get Pokemon, right? You get the planning with chess, but then luck just comes in, and you're like... Even if you plan it, you know exactly, even if you are Doctor Strange and knew exactly what you need to do, you just don't hit that one in 12 million scenario. Yeah. Uh, ELX says, well, I used to feel very bored of Standard before Rebel Clash. Now I like Standard. Yeah, I really like Dragon Bolts. I've been enjoying playing Dragon Bolts. It's like, it's different. It's not just, oh, my Pokemon does a lot of damage, you're dead, right? You have to plan the damage counters, you have to scoop up nets to play around with, so I am actually liking um, Standard more than Expanded. Well, I haven't played Expanded with Rebel Clash, that's one thing, but I do like this. Yeah. Just hit Welder, right? Just hit Welder. But <laughs> I need energy and I draw Welders, and then my opponent puts the Welders at the bottom of the deck. I have no chance there. I absolutely have zero, zero chance. Zero, zero chance. So, let's start by thinning. Let's maximize our chances of finding Welder here. I don't want to change away all these energies, obviously. So let's see if we can Stella Wish and or Poke here into a Welder. And hopefully a switching card. And hopefully a switching card. Honestly, I think I just want the whole Heatran. <laughs> Poor Cramorant, he's like, he's right there and it's like, Paolo, why don't you like you think I just, I don't get it. Okay, switch. Can I hit Welder to get the KO on the Mew? That would be fantastic. No! Well, I guess I am better changing after all. But you know what? I'm gonna find the Welder now. I'm gonna find the Welder and I'm not gonna find energies because I've been so many. I have to try, right? One. Ah! What? What? Okay. Well, there you go. There you freaking go. Take that, Pablo. There's your odds. <laughs> there you go, John. That, that's also fair. Uh, yeah, I did see the yeah, Alexis. We've talked about it um, plenty here in the stream. It's really good. Yeah, it's a really good product for new players. It's just, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's definitely fantastic. It's definitely fantastic. So, what is my plan now? I can't win this turn. There's no way for me to hit upwards of that threshold of damage. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do this. Am I, yeah, I guess I have plenty of energy left. Okay, can I? Yes, I can, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna just bench the other Heatran. And then I'll do 130, and then whether this Heatran goes down or this Heatran goes down, the other one GXs for the game, and the Bench Heatran cannot go down, right? The Bench Heatran cannot go down. And my opponent says, well played. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he didn't draw anything. That sucks. Hello, Ryan's Resolve. Hey, Garduño, muchas gracias por el código gratis. Good luck to whoever gets the code. Do you think Mail is still good for Q3? I don't think so. With Dragon Bolts and boss disorders now in Station ADP, I really don't think so. I think something that controls energy with Articuno GX would be much stronger than um, 
than something like mill, but those decks are way slower in winning, right? They first have to control you and then they mill you, so that takes way more time, and in a best of one format, it's definitely not a great idea. Alright, so that will be all for today. I do have to get going. Yeah, I do have to get going. Um, thank you so much to everyone who tuned in today to the stream. Let's see who we can raid or who we can host that is streaming Pokemon. Obviously, there's a Sul. Obviously, there's a Sul. Uh, TSM, Cataplay. We got we got posts from small streamers, so let's host another small streamer. Yeah, let's host Joe Mojo. I don't know who he is, but he sounds like a cool guy. Thanks so much. Have a good one. I'll probably stream more tomorrow. Yeah, and I will see you in our next video. Goodbye.